good day or good evening Kaiju Collectors. It's Thomas here and today we have a review on the Paradise 1962 Godzilla and this is the Atami Castle version and this is supposed to be a 30 centimeter kit and I originally thought that I had this one and this one turned up in one of the Kaiju groups and it was sitting for a while and I didn't understand because I thought it looked great but I thought I, I had it, so I said, well, you know, if I didn't have it, I, I would probably pick it up. So I kept seeing it come up once in a while, and I was surprised it was still available. So eventually, the last time I saw it, I said, you know, I'm going to take a look at mine. And I, and I looked at it really closely. I said, you know, there is something different about mine and this one. And this one, I was told, had a really nicely colored mouth and stuff like that. And I said, you know, it does look good. So sometimes photos don't do a figure justice especially when you're looking at it through your phone so I said you know what I'm, I'm gonna just gonna get it worst case I actually have it and I end up just uh, selling it to another kaiju friend and I said no harm right I said might as well so as it as it is uh, it, it arrived and I found out it's actually completely different for one thing this is 30 centimeters and the one that I have I think it's like a 40 centimeter I have no idea why I got confused but I didn't realize there's there's quite a few kits out there. So, uh, as usual, let's go ahead and take some closer looks of this wonderful kit figure. And I'll give you guys some of my opinions about it. And let's do that right now. Alright, here is the 62 Godzilla. I took him out with me on a recent bike ride. It was a beautiful day out. And I'm hoping that the natural lighting will allow us to see the details as well as some coloration. This guy has really nicely done toenails as well as his claws. He also has some articulation on the wrist so that adds to his posability and they did a great job on the mouth too. As you'll notice here on the side of his body amazing textures and the dorsal plates are really great too. Now this guy has a tail that sticks out and they must have added some weights on the inside because he stands with no issue and and it provides a much more dynamic look so up next we're going to go ahead and bring this guy back inside and check him out a little bit more Okay, for comparison number one, we have the Roto Kaiju Giant Gorilla, otherwise known as King Kong. And I'm sure due to licensing issues, they had to use a different name. But everyone knows this is King Kong. And this is, I believe, version number one. For comparison number two, we have the X Plus Red Clear Shane Godzilla. And this was a kit that was built up by one of my friends in the Kaiju groups. And... This guy looks magnificent in the sunlight with his semi-translucent vinyl. And for comparison number three, we have the M1 Maquette Godzilla. And this one comes with the wood board and a artist tool. And that's a Wonderfest version, I believe. And for comparison number four, we have a kind of an older Marmot Safubi 1962 Godzilla. And that fella is pretty charming. And up next, we have the ultimate comparison. On the left, we have the Paradise Atami Castle version. In the center, the X Plus Original 62. And on the right, the FSL 62. And just looking here, you can tell that these guys have different poses. And also, their scope is a little different. 
and each bring their own particular charm to the table. I dig them all, and it's hard for me to choose one as my favorite. I know that's a cop-out, but I like them all. The new Paradise, I actually like very much. Let's go ahead and bring all the figures back together for a group shot. And I have to tell you, this Paradise Godzilla, I think they did a really great job with this particular sculpt. And he fits really well next to his X-Plus brothers. And he makes a really fine addition to my collection. So let's get some final words in on this guy now. Okay, everybody, I am back. I hope you guys like my quick review on this Paradise 1962 Godzilla Atami Castle version. You know, this for an older kit, it's really good. I was surprised by how detailed it was when I received it. And, you know, comparing it with the other two Godzillas, the uh, original X Plus Godzilla 62 and the FSL 62, this one fits right in the middle. I mean, I, I actually, I actually would, would have no intention of selling this one. I think this one, this one, it's like a in betweener. I mean, the the mouths on those one is closed, kind of one is wide open, and this one's like kind of like like mid roar, not fully open. So it's like a it's like a compromise between both styles. So it's it's a wonderful addition as far as my sixty two collection goes, and. As far as a basic, a basic score, you know, I have to give it a high score. I mean, the only thing that would make this one, you know, totally out of the park is if this one had a, like an outstanding paint job. I mean, I would say this is still very good, very little complaints. I like this one a lot. So, yeah, if, if you guys see this kit available for a good price and you guys have someone that can, you know, put this together and build it, this is an awesome alternative to an X+. Plus. This is excellent in my opinion. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And also check us out on Facebook called Kaiju Collectors. And we have a channel called Monsters with Attitude. And we have lots of Kaiju content there. So please do check that out as well. And I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.